is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Arafil, Arafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Havel Sewing, when you need to cut it close, choose Havels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Hey everybody, I'm Mary Fonz and you're watching Quilty. And we are answering a question today, uh, hopefully troubleshooting for you. We're gonna sit down at the machine, uh, we're gonna thread the machine today, and we're gonna talk a little bit about bobbins. My sister, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Mayor. She's over there on set, producer of Quilty. You've seen her in Quilty Magazine and on the show as well. She asked me a question the other day. She was uh, sewing a baby quilt, putting a baby quilt together. She's got the bug. And um, she said, why does my bobbin do that? Why does it do that? She had bobbin trouble, and it happens a lot to beginner quilters. Like the bobbin gets tangled, or your thread comes uh, uh, unthreaded from your machine, and it's like, what is going on? So we're gonna hopefully answer some of those questions today. So when it happens to you, you'll know why and what to do about it. The first thing I wanna show you, this is what happens when you make a stitch. This is a schematic, public domain, I'll point out, uh, of, a lock stitch. When we make patchwork, we are sewing a lock stitch. What happens is that the upper thread that's in your sewing machine is, you know, it's threaded through the, through the needle and the needle goes down into that well, into that where the bobbin is, is, is waiting patiently to receive it. The thread goes down into that, into that well and loops your bobbin thread and pulls it up and then it goes back down in through the cloth into that well and it comes back up looping that thread so every time it goes down and meets the bobbin thread it's twisting it basically looping it catching it twisting it together and coming back up and then diving back down so your cloth is in the middle and your stitch is doing its work by twisting itself together okay so that's what happens and the, there's obviously some problems that can happen when something goes wrong with that process and I just wanted to remind everybody you know of my awesome other uh, homegrown visual aid the magic window from the first season of Quilty it's on my fridge now so a good lock stitch looks like this a good standard stitch is even this gets an A plus this little this little guy um, it's an even stitch it isn't too tight, the fabric's not puckering around it. If you look at the back, same goes here. It's a really nice looking stitch. It's even, straight, etc. Okay? Lovely. Well, let's take a look at example at an example that's not so good and why it might be that way. If you find that your thread on the back is all funky, look at this. You've got extra thread here and that could be any number of reasons i'd like to take a really close look at this here look at that it's super loose the thread on the bot on the bottom is really loose at the ends it's not something's not quite right so what happened i know because i made this example i purposefully misthreaded the top thread and this is a tip uh, i learned this from linda rainwater a sewing specialist at baby lock we love you baby lock um if there's something going wrong on the bottom of your patchwork unit, then chances are very good there's something incorrect in the top thread of your machine. And then the, the converse is true, vice versa is also true. If you got a patchwork unit and your thread's all goobered up on the top, a lot of times it's the bobbin that's, that's not functioning properly. The other thing that I'd like to say before I show more examples of what might go wrong is this, I'll say it again, if you have something wrong with your stitch, nine times out of 10, you just need to re-thread either your top stitch or your top thread or your bobbin. It's not tension. It's probably not time to take your sewing machine into the repairman. If you, if something goes wrong, stop and just re-thread. You'd be amazed how many times it's just something, something that went from one side of the machine to the needle got a little confused. Okay. So, so this uh, example, uh, we had a misthreading happening. This is what I'm talking about. There was something, some step that was skipped and it started going weird, okay? This got a little post-it that said, yikes, because when I was making this example, I almost really hurt my machine. <laughs> so I shouldn't do that again, but I wanted to show you what happens when your machine jams or when something is so wrong. Like here, look at this thread goober. 
that is like, whoa, trouble. That is something is so wrong there that you do not want to continue sewing. If you ever are sitting at your machine and sewing and your machine locks or jams or makes a uh, 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 sound, step away. Don't peer close to see you know what's happening there. You should just stop everything, turn off your machine, and unplug it, I would say. That's the first thing to do because then you can manually raise your your presser foot, uh, manually raise your needle, take a look in there, maybe get your uh, scissors out, your snips or your uh, seam ripper and kind of get, get some of that thread out of there. Just be careful and don't have your machine on because you could really hurt yourself. It's a very powerful uh, machine, a very powerful power tool. And then this is something that can happen uh, as we're talking about troubleshooting thread problems. This is something that can happen and often does happen more than more than we'd like to admit. Have you ever been stitching along and about 10 minutes later of your chain piecing, you realize you ran out of bobbin thread? It happens. Bobbin thread, it's not, uh, let's take a look. Actually, we have our top stitch thread. That's a nice big roll of thread that goes on the top. That's lovely. Well, compared to, compared to the bobbin, you're going to run out of bobbin a lot faster than you're going to run out of your top thread. So you need to always be making sure that you know how much bobbin you have before you start just piecing for like 10 minutes. Uh, what I love about my machine, and most machines are this way, it's a clear window on top. So you know when you're, you know, when you're getting close to being uh, out of bobbin. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. I hope this answered some questions for you. And to close out the show, we are going to play a little special threading the machine music. And uh, we're going to... I'm gonna thread this machine. You can't watch it too many times. It's always good to check it out. is brought to you by APQS handcrafted quilting machines. Arafil. Arafil Italian thread perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby lock for the love of sewing. Havel sewing. When you need to cut it close, choose Havel's. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda fabrics.